was moving out, so I don't know. You know. Okay. Probably start with grandparents and see where we go from there, I guess. But yeah, I like, uh, I think it was EJ who had talked to his mom, but uh, Damon, Damien hadn't, hadn't talked to anybody, so I'm, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. I was, I, was I, was I was hoping that our victim mother would have called us and we would have had a plan already, but. That's what I was hoping to, yeah. No contact. Okay. I'll go first. Can they see, can they see me? Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Tell me your name, please. Damien Bussell. We are on the record in the people of the state of Michigan versus Damian Gage Bustle, file 21-1041SM. Council, identify yourself for the record. Jeffrey Redding on behalf of the people. Uh, Daniel Duke, appearing on behalf of Damian Bustle for the arraignment. All right, today's time and date set for an arraignment. Um, Mr. Duke, may I address your client regarding the charge against him? Yes, sir. Mr. Mr. Damien Bustle, because I think we have two bustles today. Sir, uh, good afternoon. I'm going to share with you a copy of the charge against you. Please let me know when it shows up on your computer screen. It should be there right about now. Yep, see it. All right. In this case, sir, you are charged with the crime of domestic violence. The reason why you're charged with this crime is the prosecutor's office is alleged that on or about July 26th, in an address of 5030 West Isabella Road, in uh, Greendale Township, Midland County, Michigan, that you made an assault or assault and battery upon a Timothy Loomis, a resident or former resident of your household. If you're convicted of that crime, it's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines plus court costs. Do you understand the charge against you, sir? Yes. All right, Mr. Duke, how do you advise your client he should plead to the charge? Uh, not guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty plea will be entered in the records of the courts. Mr. Bustle, are you planning on hiring your own attorney or requesting a court-appointed attorney for your case? Court-appointed. Are you currently working? Yes. Where do you work? Texas Roadhouse in Mount Pleasant. What do you do? A busser. How long have you worked there? Probably March. four months. How much do you make an hour? Uh, four fifty. I just got a raise to four fifty an hour, plus three percent sell shares. Okay. How old are you? Eighteen. You still in high school, or have you finished yep. school? Still in high school. Twelfth grade. Uh, where do you attend? Mount Pleasant High School. All right, I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Katrina, can we get the next court date? Yes, Your Honor. That would be August 17th at 9 a.m. All right, 
Uh, you have telephone number we can reach you uh, so that you could uh, we, for a telephone and an email address so we can send you instructions regarding Zoom. Uh, probably my mom's phone number would, would probably be the best. It would be 999-400-6810. Do you have an email? Uh, Jen 32082. Jen three. My mom's email would probably be the best too. It's Jen 32 32082 at gmail.com. Jen 30 322. Jen 32. Jen 30. Jen 32. 30. No? What? Three. Jen 32082. At okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Duke. Argument regarding Bob. Uh, Your Honor, as uh, Damien said, he is a uh, a student or would be at, at Mount Pleasant High School. He is working. I believe he has no prior record. Uh, and as indicated, I've been speaking to his brother EJ. I believe they'd be able to reside with their grandparents while this is pending. Because I was hoping that. The uh, no contact issue would be resolved as far as the, the mom's boyfriend was concerned, but uh, obviously no contact with the uh, alleged victim. And I think a PR bind is appropriate with the uh, uh, usual conditions. All right, Mr. Reddick, any input regarding bond? Uh, no, other than your honor, we would ask that there would be uh, no contact or independency of this matter. Obviously that can be uh, reviewed in the future. Uh, we've, uh, um, uh, it's, it's my understanding that uh, the uh, uh, victim in this matter is, in fact, the, the homeowner where the uh, two young men resided. And we realize that uh, obviously creates an issue, but uh, we're willing to work with Mr. Duke to uh, work something out to uh, 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 take into account these circumstances. But for the, for the time being, we'd ask that there would be no contact just to keep everybody on the straight and narrow. All right. Thank you. Uh, as it stands right now, I show we used... Uh, the data, uh, judicial data warehouse that shows there's an, a bench warrant issued for Mr. Damon yep. Brussel out of Mount Pleasant That's charges it. for conspiracy to commit B&E from a vehicle and a vehicle to steal less than $200 and with a cash surety bond, a hundred mile pickup. I'm going to give him a $500 cash bond here today. We're going to hold him and see if we can get Mount Pleasant to make some move on their case. There'll be no contact with the victim. He can't live at the home. Um, he is to, to engage in pretrial services. He's not to consume any alcohol. He's too young anyway. But he's not to consume any alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, or recreational marijuana. He's subject to random drug and alcohol testing. He's to have no contact again with the victim, which means if the victim is living in his own home, then the defendant cannot be there. The $500 cash bond, I, I may modify that if he's unable to make the bond. If he's still there by August 17th, I will, I will do that, but I want an opportunity for Mount Pleasant to kind of clear up their charges and and uh, address the issue at that time. So we'll be adjourned on Mr. Damien's Brussels, Brussels case. Thank you. Can you have your brother sit in the other chair, please? Yep. Good afternoon, sir. Please state your name for the record. EJ Richard Bustle, sir. All right, this is the people state of Michigan versus EJ Richard Bustle. This is file number 21-1042SM. Council, identify yourselves for the record. Jeffrey Redding on behalf of the people. Uh, Daniel Duke, appearing on behalf of E.J. Bustle for the arraignment. All right, today's time and date set for an arraignment. Uh, Mr. Duke and Mr. Uh, uh, Redding, I do, I do not show any record for uh, Mr. Bustle, so I'm intending on the uh, PR bond, unless there's an objection. I just want to, I'll modify uh, Mr. Damon Russell's once we know Mount Pleasant has an opportunity to see him and decides whether they take it or not. So in this case, uh, Mr. Bustle, I need to read you a charge that's been filed against you. You have been charged with the crime of domestic violence. It is uh, alleged that on or about July 26th of this year, the address at 5030 West Isabella Road, Greendale Township, Midland County, Michigan, that you made an assault or assault and battery upon Timothy Loomis, a resident or former resident of your household, if you're convicted. It's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines plus court costs. Do you understand the charge? Yes, Your Honor. How should your client plead, Mr. Duke? Uh, not guilty, Your Honor. 
Mr. Bustle, I was hearing you answer questions for your brother, so I presume you also work at the Texas Roadhouse? Yes, sir. Okay. You make the same amount of money doing the same job? Yes, sir. You just must pay a little closer attention to what uh, the money that you're making. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and appoint an attorney for you. Um, Mr. Duke, um, I'm, I'm guessing with no prior criminal history and the same set of facts, you're requesting a, a PR bond? That's correct, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Redding, any objection to that? No, sir. All right. Mr. Bustle, the difference between you and your brother is that he has got some pot potential charges over in Isabella County. I want to make sure he gets those addressed. For you, I'm going to give you a PR bond. The PR bond means you, get to, you don't have to pay any money to get out. However, okay. you can't go home uh, until we know what the situation is with Mr. Loomis. So if you can go live with your grandparents, right. that would be a good right. thing to do. You're not to have any contact with the victim. I want you on pretrial services, no alcohol, no drugs, uh, illegal drugs, no marijuana. You're subject to random drug and alcohol testing. And I want you to work with pretrial services. Your mom's telephone number is probably the best one to get a hold of you, but, but the issue is we're going to have to Somehow we're going to, have to be in touch with you at your grandparents' place. So you're going to have to get that information to us. The next time you need to be aware of court, uh, Katrina, can you remind me of the date? Yes, Your Honor, that would be August 17th at 9 a.m. August 17th at 9 a.m., your lawyer who's appointed for you will meet with the prosecutor and have a discussion. They will get in contact with you. But if you have an, another number or an address, you need to make sure you let the court know because then we can let the attorney know. Right now, it's just your mom's information. All right, sir. Make sure you understand Hello. clearly so when you get asked these questions by your grandmother. If, if anybody posts that bond for your brother, and I'm not opposed to them posting it, but I'm going to reduce it down. I just want to make sure that Mount Pleasant, see, he's going to be in jail probably another day so that Mount Pleasant gets made aware so that they can set that case in motion. So if somebody posts that bond, he's still going to have that bench warrant. They still might pick him up. All right. So as far as you're concerned, you get to get out of jail without anything. Just make sure you don't cause any trouble while you're out. No violating any laws, uh, no violent, intimidating, um, threatening type behavior. Yes, sir. Okay. Understood. We'll be, be adjourned on your case. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Mr. Reddick, thank you. Thank you. All right. Your Honor.